Ryan, Clarence Thomas reports now that he took three trips paid for by Republican mega donor Harlan Crow in 2022. What's significant about the timing of that disclosure? Well, it's all about transparency. It's been a pretty hot summer for Supreme Court justices, especially Clarence Thomas and Alito, because there's been a lot of scrutiny about the relationships with major political players like Harlan Crow right there. So now that he's put that on the books, we know there's been other gifts and trips that Crow has paid for when it comes to uh, even real estate that one of Thomas's relatives is living in now, paying for education for one of Thomas's relatives. So it's all now that Moore is coming to light and he's been uh, put in that disclosure right there, it's been pretty important just so everybody else knows exactly the relationships that uh, Supreme Court justice has with somebody who is obviously a major player in one of the parties here. At the same time, former President Donald Trump pleading uh, not guilty in Fulton County. What does this mean for his Georgia trial? Well, it's interesting. I'm sure we'll learn next more next week because that's when the pres former president is expected to be arraigned. Now, he's already waived his right to show up to that arraignment, so he will not be in that Atlanta area courtroom. But unlike a lot of his other co-defendants, there's 18 of them to be exact, the president doesn't want a fast and speedy trial. So we've heard a lot of talk in the past couple of days about a lot of those co-defendants wanting a fast and speedy trial. They're looking at a late October date for that trial, but the president says that's just not going to work for him. He wants more time to build a legal defense, and that's pretty on par with his game plan in a lot of other court cases that he's being tried in as well, whether it be New York or Florida, even right here in D.C., that is to push things off as far as possible, and that seems to be what he's doing in Georgia as well. In health news, COVID cases are on the rise. What are leaders doing to help keep people healthy? Well, it's, they're monitoring the numbers first and foremost. So for the past six weeks, COVID cases have been on the rise. But in full context, it pales in comparison to the throes of the pandemic. The Biden administration says roughly 97% of Americans 16 and up have some sort of immunity built up, whether that been from booster shots or uh, getting the illness, getting COVID themselves. So one way or another, folks have some built up immunity. But for the people who are looking to get boosters, especially as cold and flu season approaches, there's going to be the boosters. They're not FDA approved yet, but they're expected to be by mid-September. And for the folks who are looking at the numbers, the rising COVID cases now and say they just simply can't wait for whatever reason that may be, you know, FDA and other health officials have said it's okay to go ahead and get the boosters that are available right now. And President Biden visiting uh, FEMA this afternoon to discuss Maui and Hurricane Idalia relief. What did he say? Well, he will be in Florida in the impacted area on Saturday. So in a couple of days, he's going to get a first-hand look at exactly the devastation that this latest hurricane caused. Now, good news is President Biden said FEMA was well prepared for the devastation that happened. They had 1,500 people pre-deployed in the area in the southeast ready to jump right into action as soon as that storm blew through. And that's exactly what they did. He's been in communication with not only FEMA leaders, but also state leaders and governors about exactly what people need to get things back to normal. And that's the big deal. That's what it's all about. There's a disaster declaration with funds for homeowners and business owners to get things uh, repaired immediately, uh, to fix homes long term and just really getting, back, getting people back in the regular swing of things. And that's what President Biden says his goal is. All right. Thank you, Ryan, for that update. Ryan Henson, our Washington correspondent.